And there's a there's videos somewhere with my hair dyed ginger doing Ron Weasley. Oh, of course. We're talking about Michael Gambon. No, Rupert Grant. I've had ice cream from his ice cream van, so I definitely know that's Rupert Grant. <laughs> yeah, on set and on the streets as well. There was once I saw him, uh, him, him handing out free ice creams. He doesn't charge either. It's free ice cream, so happy days. Me? <laughs> Josh Herman or Jamie Whalett. For rap music. Hmm, fair enough. To be fair, I think he... He, much like myself, he likes every kind of music, but I had not heard about his, uh, I've, I've seen him rapping. I know he's a very good, uh, I know he's a good rapper, but I didn't know that was not a quote that I had heard from his, from his mouth. Emma Watson, no one answer, not the right answer. No, yes, it was me, yes, for sure. I hadn't read the books. I had no idea who, which character was who. You know, you have to bear in mind, we were making one film. There was no intention to make seven more. There were only two books written at the time. We certainly had no idea that we, we would be doing this for the next 12 years of our life, let alone 22 years later still be talking about it. Didn't really care, to be honest with you. As long as I got a part in the film, that would be great. Although I'm so grateful that I didn't get Harry or Ron and I got Draco because he's so much more fun to play, at least for, uh, for me. But they there are tapes somewhere with my hair dyed brown, with a scar on my head, with me with the glasses doing, you know, an audition tape. And there's a, there's videos somewhere with my hair dyed ginger doing Ron Weasley. Yeah, me too. I haven't seen them either, but I imagine they're somewhere. But finally they dyed my hair blonde and they said, that's good. Emma. I have actually had a couple. Yeah, we did do some acrobatic yoga, but but very lightly. I'm um, I'm not a yogi just yet. She's an incredibly talented person inside of academia and outside of academia. She never fails to impress me in any realm, really, because she's such a loving, kind, sweet person. But yet she's still an incredible genius. You know, it was kind of annoying, actually, because when we were doing our exams at school, I used filming the Harry Potter films as an excuse for my bad grades. So instead of getting A's, I got C's and D's. So I thought, you know, that's good enough. It's like, it's a pass, you know? And then Emma came along who had three times as much work to do than I did. And every every result was A plus, A plus, A star, whatever. Uh, so yes, she puts me to shame constantly. Her talent knows no bounds for sure. <laughs> Robbie Coltrane. Robbie Patterson. Really? Uh, wait, 95. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, that's way before the films were even being made. Jason Isaacs. Oh, really? To be fair, I was seven years old, so I wouldn't have been looking at what sexy men looked like at that point. But he was, cer he was certainly, a, uh, um, a, certainly an intimidating man in the best way. So yeah, I did not know, did not know that answer. You learn something every day.